Now, brothers and sisters, I'm sure that we'll agree that we haven't appreciated such men as Porter Rockwell. Too much has been made of glorifying Buffalo Bill, Wild Bill Hickok, and Jim Bridger as typical American frontiersmen. But those showy swaggers can't hold a candle with our porter. You can't uncover from the ranks of this type of American frontiersman a man like Porter and Lot Smith, who once rode out against an invading army and utterly defeated that army without firing a shot. In fact, one non-Mormon writer referred to Porter Rockwell as the Paul Revere of the Mormons during the Utah War. He was the man that rode in and rode up uh, to uh, Silver Lake in Little Cottonwood Canyon to tell Brother Brigham and the others who were commemorating the 10th anniversary of their coming into the valley that Johnston's army was on the way. Do-da, do-da. The Mormon people far to slay. Do-da, do-da day. But if they come, we'll have some fun to see him and his Ginny's run. Do da, do da. We ought to sing that, hadn't we? <laughs> and so, <laughs> a lifelong friend of Porter Rockwell was to say, after all, old Port is, was, and always will be loyal to the kingdom. And were you to visit his grave with the monument above it, in the Salt Lake Cemetery, you would read these words. He was brave and loyal to his faith, true to the prophet Joseph Smith. A promise made him by the prophet through obedience was fulfilled. That immediately comes to your mind, doesn't it?